craft along oh it's so nice to be with you today and particularly as you if we've not met before i myself am a crafter and trust me on this i love a craft along as much as you do we have got the liftables that we're focusing on today and we are going to be making a card that will make many people smile especially if you're here in the uk and father's day is not too far away the wonderful lady teaching us how to create this marvellous make today is the lady that if she was French she would be la poisson it's the fish Debbie Fisher I love la poisson is it la yeah. poisson la poisson la yeah. poisson oui. I love that we oui. Yeah, oui. good. You've uh, got yes. a gorgeous card. I know. And let us know if there's any French people uh, watching. I'd love to know that. That would yes. be good. Uh, do you know what, Becky? I thought I'm always trying to do something a little bit more complicated. And I wanted to take us back to basics. I wanted us to get, because we make lots of these Z Fold cards, mm. but there's lots of people that still don't quite know how to do it. So we're just going to take it back to basics. We're going to learn how to do all our matte and layering. But we're also going to be able to use these stunning liftable dies, which are my new new favourites at the moment and we're going to be using them in our nesting dies. Now remember you can use any pattern papers you want, you can use any uh, nesting dies you want, they don't have to be circle. I just thought this really lent itself to those gorgeous dragonflies and I did figure as it was Father's Day coming up and I do know that Father's Day is the same in the United States it? as it is in the UK. Oh, cool. um, so I mean I've obviously used these beautiful ones and also I think it's nice to see a paper pad used that perhaps we wouldn't necessarily use because it's got those sort of pinky tones in them but with the greens I think it really lends itself to a really beautiful or not beautiful but a really nice manly sort of Father's Day card so yes we're going to be crafting through this from start to finish uh, for the exactly the same card side that we need doing all our mats and layers properly I might add because I am one that pinches the ends as you know uh, we're not going to be doing that we're going to be taking exact measurements so you will know exactly how to mat and layer the gorgeous uh, Z Fold card that's perfect and you're so right it's very very unisex it's a beauty so we are going to need some elements for this of course so let's run through your shopping list so if you want to craft a long live right now make sure you've got all of these elements out don't forget if you've not got the exact ones it doesn't matter it's absolutely fine you can use something similar so you want your liftable dies the dragonfly is what we've used but if you've got the stars the butterflies whatever then you can use them if you wish we want nesting dies we've gone for the edge circle in these ones but again you can use hexagonals or anything you fancy we've got white stamping card your knitwit a bloom and grace paper pad and the card pad and of course the die cut topper pad as well so those are the elements that we're going to be using and then these are the tools if you will that you're going to need you're going to want the score master the guillotine the tape pen the tacky glue and the foam pads but again if for example you don't have a guillotine a set of scissors or, or your own cutter will be absolutely fine so go and grab those however if you haven't got any of those to hand right now don't worry about it because I'm going to bring you those elements on the show as we go on so what you can do is save subscribe and, and like this video and that means that when you get these delivered to you, you will be able to make along in real time. So do feel free to treat yourself. And it's the liftables that I'm going to be bringing to you first. That's the main focal. So the lovely thing about the uh, liftables is that you have elements and areas within here that do what they say on the tin and they will lift up. So, for example, on this one here, I've got the fairies and you can see that you've got the elements here where the die doesn't cut through. So that means that you have this lift up element. So it adds a little bit of a pop up 3D effect to your card. As well as the fairies, I'm bringing you the dragonfly. This is the one that Debbie's going to be demoing with as we go on today. We've got your stars here as well. And I will say you've got the big liftables, but even the tiny little ones lift up as well. Bringing to you also the butterflies got for you the love hearts and your pointed flowers as well so all of those are coming in that collection for you today and as you can see should be 60 pounds but actually only 48.99 today and of course if you're part of club inspire you get the added extra discounts as well meaning that actually with the price it is now and the extra 20 percent off it's only 39 pounds 19 
that from nearly 60 quid's incredible isn't it or if it's in dollars it's 55 dollars 80 again mega saving so if you do want to seize the moment on those don't forget to save this uh, lovely video and you'll be able to craft along and that's exactly what we're going to be doing with the fish you've got all of your papers ready i have i've got them all ready uh, i need to apologize straight away because when i did this project i didn't realize this one was out of stock you if you've got it at home that's absolutely fine you can craft along if you haven't got this one at home uh, just choose a nice paper pad that you want to use because you haven't got to use these paper pads the main thing is is that we're going to be using these let me turn that around the right way we're going to be using now these are in stock so if you did want to follow along you would be able to find ones that match uh, the beautiful colors in this palette uh, this one all I'm using sorry this one here we're using the letters in here so although you've got lots of different elements uh, we're going to be using the uh, the actual alphabet in this one which is great Brilliant. but to start off with before we even touch our paper pads we're going to get down to our basics with our card so we're going to take our card now I'm just using stamping card plain white stamping card it's 300 GSM now what we need to do is create our size for our card so what I'm going to do is bring in my large guillotine to start with so you could use your smaller guillotine um, but it's just that I need we need to make sure that we are creating the right um, length for it so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to go across and we're going to score sorry we're going to cut this at 11 inches so if I bring it down here I've took the foot out of my guillotine I'm going to take the long side against the top part and then I'm going to cut that at my 11 inches so trim that one down and then I'm going to turn this round and we're going to cut then to eight inches and that will give us the perfect size that we need. So just putting that to our eight inches and trimming that down. So that's what you would need for your base card. So I will just repeat it just so people can catch up in doing their cutting. You're going to take an A A4 piece of card. You're going to trim that in your trimmer to 11 inches turn it round and then you're going to trim it to eight inches okay so that's your first card blank now we're going to take another piece and we're going to do the same with the 11 inches so pop that into your guillotine go to your 11 inches and then trim that down and this time all we need is three inches so what i'm going to do is go to our three inches Make sure that's lined up from top to bottom on my score. Hold your midsection down and trim that. We now need two pieces of that. So, well, we've got one piece, so we're going to then trim our next stage. So the next one, again, we're going to do that at... Actually, why am I cutting? I don't need two, do I? I need one. Okay, fab. <laughs> do you know what? I, I, what? You know why I've done that? When I was prepping this... Uh, and this is how my brain works. It stays in that zone. I think that's yeah. what it is, Becky. I, I've made an extra one of everything I was doing. So I was thinking I needed two of them, but you don't need but two don't, of them. Just you just one. need one. And that is all you do to get your card length. So what we're going to do now is take our scoring board and place that onto our scoring board. All you need to know with any Z-fold card that these two pieces are as identical in their score lines and their, their width. So as long as these two are exactly the same and the score lines are the same, this piece can be any size you want. It doesn't matter what size this is. We could have it a little piece at the top. We could have it bigger. So not a problem at all. So I'm going to take my scoring tool and then we're going to butt that up against the edge there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score this at four, at, sorry, it's at 11 inches, so five and a half inches. So our five and a half inches. Okay. And then we're going to come in. So we know that our half of this, so half of a five is uh, two, two sorry, two and a half. And then we're going to add two on because we've got four increments going there. So we actually want two and three quarters. Okay. So two and three quarters and your five and a half inches. And then we're going to bring in the smaller piece and we're going to score that the same. So two and three quarter of an inch. I like to just do that a couple of times and then we're going to go in at five and a half inches. Perfect. If you do want the score master, it's on your screen right now. It comes with the Envella box creator as well. 
you're getting 30% off and 50 bonus points as well. Wow. So you are going to be getting absolutely loads. And don't forget, if you are brand new, it's your first order today. These are tools we use quite often, so it's great to be able to get them whilst they're on offer. And if it is your first time a shopper, you get 20% off too. So enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. So what you've seen me do is just fold that in half and we've burnished that down. And then we're going to fold it back on itself. So you fold this away from the inner, your inner, inner part of the card. And we're just going to burnish that down. So you can see what we've actually done is a half fold gate folded card. And you can do that in any configuration. You could do that as a six inch card if you wanted to, whatever size that you want. Uh, and this one we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to fold it in half and burnish and then fold that back on itself. And then we will burnish that score line in as well. So nice and easy. So you'll see that we have two identical cards. This one, you turn upside down and the opposite way. So then when this comes to sticking down, your bridge part of the card to create that Z fold would go onto this part. So if I hold that there and then this part underneath would stay there so it creates that Z fold. So if I bring that up, you can see it creates that beautiful Z fold card. Now you could have that any way you want. You could have that right on the bottom and that would hold into there. You could have that in the middle. You could have it at the top. And in fact, I've done one before with just a smaller piece along the top. And then you can hang like with acetate all your string, your little Christmas decorations, your baubles and things for Christmas. So lots of different variations that you can do that one with. So once we've got this part of the card done we're then going to go in and do our mat and layers so shall we uh, let people catch up with that and then uh, we'll then start doing our mat and layers absolutely let me show you the score master and the available box creator in one and that is what is on your screen right now this is your double-sided score master. Now, you know, you saw the lovely Debbie there um, burnishing this off. She's just using the tool that you've got in here. So it's all in one. You don't have to buy anything extra. The wonderful thing about this board is that it works with the enveloper that I'm bringing to you, but also whoop, it is double-sided. So you can see here that you have got your increments and in they're going around slightly larger you're looking at around about half a centimeter each time and you've got them on this side with the inch guides on them and as you can see there is more um, sort of uh, elements of them so this is the lovely thing you're going to use this and then you have the opportunity within this bundle offer to bring in the come here uh, the envelope box creator now this will make envelopes have you ever made a box uh, or, or made a card, sorry, and you've not been able to find the right envelope to fit it? If you buy your normal card blanks, you know, they'll come with envelopes. But sometimes if you're doing lots of uh, texture on it or you're doing it pop up, it might not fit back in, right? You can make your own elephant envelopes with these and you've got the box making opportunities. So that means you can make them whatever size, depth you need, and it is perfect for gifting you know candles you could make boxes for your candles you can make boxes for books you could make pretty much whatever you want with this it means that you have true customization purposes so you've got both of those the price already is 30% discount and that is without paying attention to your club inspire but then you get the extra 50 bonus points so you've got something really special there Another product that we've got on the show today is the Gemini Mini Die Cutter. Now, if you are brand, brand, brand new, you might not know exactly what a die is. Well, it is our metal cutouts. In this instance, we're going to be doing one with the dragonfly shape. And all you have to do is place your shape onto a piece of card and run it through a machine like this. Now, this one, you just turn the handle. You don't even have to plug it in. You could even use it on a train if you really wanted to. Um, and it comes with the carry case as well. That one is our mini, it's 25% off approximately, and you are getting the bag with that one as well. Not only that, but you've also got the opaque pigment ink pads. You're getting six pack of these, so you don't have to choose your favorite color, you get them all in one. You've got the Oasis color, crushed velvets, grasshopper, honey pots, spring meadow and parakeet in this collection saving 20 percent and we will be talking more about how to use these but trust me you're going to use them a lot 
If you are somebody who likes to be able to stamp and colour like this, whoa, then let's bring you more of the quick dry. This is orange, straw bale, honey pot, ocean blue, midnight and frosty jade. And that's also 20% discount. And these, you will use them with stamps. And don't forget, I've got a Sarah cartload coming up later. So I've got the mystery bags. Both of my mystery bags have stamps in them. So you're going to pick up the ink on your stamp and then you're going to pop it on really quickly and it will be dry within an instant or two. So that's a great one. We have got the wonderful Debbie Fisher in with us today and um, hopefully you've managed to catch up now. So we are going to carry on with the liftables. I'm with you again Debbie. Yeah absolutely. So we're going to be doing our mat lowering now for our card. So like I said taking it right back to basics doing quite a simple card but it enables you to especially if you are a beginner uh, to follow on that crafty journey and then adapt those styles as you go along. So so I'm using that Knitwits Bloom and Grace. So first of all, I'm going to pick out my colours that I want to do. So just pick out whatever colours you're working with to coordinate uh, with your style. So I'm going to take out a green from that one there and then we're going to pick our papers. So you just pick your papers to go with them. And because I'm using a Father's Day and this is quite sort of florally, there are some pages in here which are great for Father's Day. I'm going to use this sort of pink one here because it's stripy. It's actually the reason I picked it reminds me of my dad's he's got a pink striped shirt like this oh, and it reminded me of my dad so um, not that he'll probably notice that when I give him the card but <laughs> I'll remind him he had a shirt like that which reminded me of just that it makes me think of holiday deck chairs <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah it's a great one but they're really muted pinks in here mm. almost like sort of like and there's some dark burgundies as well which are quite nice so first of all we're going to take our base cards uh, and these are the ones so if I bring this in, you can see these are our mat and layers that are going to go inside our cards. So get your pens at the ready to start with because I think it's always good to write them down. So uh, we need two pieces of this. So we need two pieces of seven and three quarters by two and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those. So write them down as well and then that way you've got them as reference. Uh, and then don't forget that if you do want to do the style of card again, and you want to know those mat and layerings just write yourself a little diary note um, that you're going to that where this show is because you can re-watch it back so we're going to go in and we're going to cut at seven and three quarters so seven and three quarters just there and then I'm going to trim two pieces off at two and a half inches so that's our two and a half then two and a half again. I'm trying not to do it too fast. So just making sure you're all uh, keeping up. Don't forget if you have got any questions, get in touch with us on social. And then this piece, we need to cut this by uh, the same seven and a half. So we've got that going across. We've cut, got that the same, sorry, seven and three quarters. And we then need a five and a quarter. So I'm gonna go in, do my five and a quarter there. <laughs> And what that will do, that will give me those three mats and layers. So let's just check now before we do any more. And then I will refresh on those. So I'm going to bring in my main card. This is the one that's then going to go on the inside. So you can see that will fit perfect, giving us a, a lovely white border all around the edge. And then we've got the two pieces, one for the front here and then one for the, sorry, one for the front and one for the inside. Because it's just nice when you open it up that you've got decoration on this side as well your matching papers so I'm going to pop them to one side because then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our patterned paper now I'm bearing in mind I'm just doing the, the actual main card itself uh, and we're going to do these uh, a, a half an inch smaller so this time we're going to come in and we're going to do the pattern papers at seven and a half this time instead of seven and three quarters so seven and a half and then we're going to cut two pieces of those by two and a quarter. So seven and a half, and then two and a quarter instead of two and a half. So we're taking out that half an inch each time. And then if I just bring in one of my layers, you will see that that will then fit perfectly 
into that, Fab. leaving that green rim round the outside. So perfect matte and layering. And again, we will do exactly the same, uh, the same uh, two and a quarter. And then with this extra piece here, we're then going to go in and this time it will be five, let me just check my measurements, yep, five inches because we did five and a quarter. So five inches all the way down and cut that down. Kathy's okay. just messaged in saying, this is so good. I get very confused with measurements when layering. Absolutely. And, and we all do. You're not on your own there. And that's why I thought, let's do precise measurements um, so you know exactly what you're doing there. So I'm just going to, instead of going through the cutting again, what I am going to do is read out, because I've wrote them all down, I'm just going to read out exactly what you need there. So your base layers, let me bring these in. These two, let me bring the four pieces in here. Your first piece, all of these going down, you would trim to seven and three quarters of an inch. Uh, and then we want it by five and a quarter of an inch. And this one again is seven and three quarters of an inch down. And you want two pieces going across at two and a half inches. And that's two pieces of those. So that makes it very clear. And then we're going to come down with those half, uh, sorry, a quarter of an, uh, an inch. Uh, and this time we are going to go down to uh, seven and a half inches. So this will be seven and a half inches by five inches across and seven and a half inches by two and a quarter inches across. And that's for two pieces of those. And they really will mat and layer perfectly each time if you just come down that level. And you can see how much that really makes that pattern paper pop mm. without having just a plain piece. Adding that border really makes a lot of sense. But if you didn't want to waste any, and let's say you wanted to cut some of your liftables out of here, just sort of take this piece out with either a pair of scissors or a knife and you could use those but just for sort of demo demonstration purposes we're just going to mat and layer these on top of each other so what we're going to do now is stick all these together so we've got our first part of the card blank done um, because we haven't actually even got to our liftables yet which is uh, which I literally cannot wait because they are gorgeous if you haven't used them before or you have and you just want inspiration uh, this is definitely the one to show I love the fact that even pieces of cards like this you could mat and layer you could cut your liftables into these side pieces uh, you could then mat mm. and layer them onto something like this another piece of card and you've got a ready-made bookmark Love that which idea. is yeah That's I mean great. so good for the kids to be able to make especially with a Gemini mini I would absolutely pop one of them in your basket because yeah. that as a bookmark for the kids in the summer holidays to make their own bookmark put a punch a little hole in it uh, you can put a little tab up there so they can pop it in and out of their books yeah. uh, such a really lovely idea and a nice project that the kids can do themselves one of my favorite things at school was when you got to back your books oh do mine you too mine too they give you your plain jotter oh, and you got to, to go home it. and usually it was either leftover pieces of wallpaper or wrapping it paper. was wrapping paper yes. yeah <laughs> yeah and we'd have a real tree if I always remember my mum if she'd come home and get us the foiled wrapping paper Ooh. and it used to be such a treat to have that foil wrapping paper wrapped around your book oh I love it <laughs> but you could do liftables on back in a book couldn't you really yeah that would be amazing That'd be really I cool. mean the things we could do this this day and age honestly would yeah. be yeah mind-blowing to the teachers probably yeah <laughs> So there we go, just matting all our layers on. So you're just using your normal tape pen? I'm just using a tape pen for this, yes. Just a normal tape pen to put the layers on. Uh, what I would say is if you're not very good or you're not, you don't think you're very good at layering them down and getting them in the right position, I would use a wet glue so you've got a bit of wiggle room. Okay, cool. So because tape pen, as soon as it takes, that's it, it's stuck it's to your card. Yeah. And you could sort of try and peel it up a bit. I mean, I could sort of take that up and actually it's not too bad on this card stock, but but sometimes, it, once it really rip. sticks down, you're going to rip that card stock back up. Great. So we're going to bring our card in now, and we're going to map those onto the front, the inside, and the base one. So let's pop these on. And again, I'm just using my tape pen. 
and I haven't bought my uh, bag in, otherwise I'd be using a lot more of my tacky glue, and I forgot to bring Gloria today, so... Um, oh, I know. where is so she? She's back at the house, because oh. I was doing some... In fact, I'm really excited. I've got a Colour Me Happy at 7pm tomorrow night, so please join me if you can, because we've got the re-inkers on. We've got lots of the water-coloured uh, little jars, sparkle jars, the aqua oh. jars, um, and I really can't wait to get started. I've been... Uh, pr I've been having a little play today and creating some really amazing backgrounds so um, yeah hopefully you'll join me then so I literally rushed out and left everything back at the house uh -huh. which is a good thing because I can go straight back and then start again and uh, get messy again carry on crafting that's it carry <laughs> on crafting don't forget if you do love your watercolours and you want some paper then we did have a watercolour paper stack on earlier on as well as Nina card back in stock so uh, keep your peepers peeled for that on our website. Yeah, absolutely. Because we didn't love you, our Nina cards. I, I was just going to say, I didn't even know that. It's just registered. Yep. It's back in stock. So, yep. uh, yeah, that's amazing. And it's discounted as well. Oh, my goodness. Even yep. better. 30% discount. I have to say, I never understand that because we don't need to discount that, which no. just shows you that we bring those offers to you amazingly. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's we know that you're going to buy that because it's been out of stock for so long. It's the most asked question at the moment. When is Nina coming back into stock? Yeah. So to have a deal on it, it's amazing. Yeah, it is incredible, isn't it? Right, so we've done our first one. Uh, do, we, do we do the bridge now to finish off the bridge with the matting and layering? Do you mind if I, um, no, yes, you carry on. Carry on, yeah. your question, yeah. No problem. So we've got the bridge card. We're going to do exactly the same, but with different measurements. So this time I'm going to bring in my leftover piece of card that I had cut off of there. And I'm going to bring my guillotine back. So bringing the guillotine back, this time I've got all my measurements beside me and that's telling me for my bridge part, we need a five and a quarter inch. So I'm going to take it to five and a quarter and trim that down. I then need to do that at five and a quarter by two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. And that piece will give me my piece. No, it won't. I've not done that right, have I? I'm probably reading a completely different piece. Ah, oh, there we go. It's five inches. Should have looked a bit better, shouldn't I? So there we go. Five inches. And that will then go. No, it's still not working. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when something doesn't go how you expect it to go? Am, am I just, it's because, oh uh, look, it's yeah, me Yeah, but it happens not, to all of us. No, look, it's me not having my glasses on. I'm doing it at six uh, inches. Oh. So it is, yeah, so the bridge part is um, five and a quarter. I did it right, but I've done it at six and a quarter. I was thinking, why is that not working? It's my own fault not having my glasses on. There you go, sorry. Five and a quarter, um, which is what I said in the first place. I just didn't put it at five and a quarter. Yeah. I put it at six and a quarter. <laughs> so five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then I've got my other piece of card here. And this time we are going to measure that. That should, we, we, yes, we'll get away with that. Five and a quarter. So all your scraps will come out of one piece of card which is good uh, and this time we're going to do it at two and three quarters so two and three quarters actually I think we might need another piece because no we're not no we're not because what this piece is going to do we're going to cut the trim this in half so you can see this piece we're going to have two pieces the same but this piece will be cut in half okay so we're going to do it at uh, two, I'm getting my, I've even wrote it down so I wouldn't get muddled up and I'm still getting muddled up. So let's cut it at, we've done it at two and three quarters and we're going to do it by two and a half. There we go. And then we're going to cut that at two and a half again. Sorry to get you all muddled up there. So I right, do we'll have it all wrote again. down. So I'm just going to make sure that we've got that. So this is two and, a, two and three quarters by two and a half. That's the pieces that you need, which will go into these slots at the side and fit perfectly. Great. Okay. And then we're going to bring in our pattern card stop, but this time we're going to switch uh, to this striped one. So we've got a different pattern going across. Uh, and this time we're going to bring this in. So our pattern card stop is going to be at five inches. So five inches. There we go, and that's going to be by two and a half. So two and a half inches. 
And that is going to give me my perfect matten layer. I've done it again. Look, I've done it at six inches. I need glasses on. That's terrible, isn't it? So let's just pop that back in five inches. <laughs> there we go. And that will then fit perfectly into our green there. Perfect. So you can see that green all the way around. And then the next piece, and just make sure when you're doing these, your stripes are the way round that you want them to be. Mm -hmm. So yeah. otherwise you'll end up with uh, stripes vertically and horizontal. So we're going to go down. Let me cut these off this side. Uh, I'm just going to double check what we've got that, which is, yes, our two and a half. So you want two and a half. And that's going to be by two and a quarter. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Thank goodness all these measurements are all, all done with. <laughs> so popping this back in. So shall we just repeat these as I messed everybody up? So what they are is, let's bring these bridge parts in. Got a piece that's just gone under Also, my just mat. because earlier on Barbara did mention, can you repeat the width of uh, the sizes of the paper that you use for actually the inserts as well? Do you mind that? The um, hound tooth and the green tooth for Barbara. The, the, the bigger card on yes, the bigger please. card. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go through them all. On the plain, plain trimmed card, the plain underneath your mat and layering, okay? That's the one we're doing at the moment for the biggest card. Uh, what we want there is two pieces pieces of the smaller so two pieces of these panels yes you're going to have let's just do it separately shall we yep. first piece on the front seven and three quarters by two and a half seven your inside and seven and three seven and three quarters by two and a half great your bigger piece is seven and three quarters by five and a quarter Perfect. okay so seven and three quarters by two and a half and then seven and three quarters by five and a half great thank and you and then on the bridge part for which sorry on the patterned cardstock so your patterned cardstock you need to cut that uh, to seven and a half inches by two and a quarter so seven and a half inches by two and a quarter and then seven and a half inches by five inches. Perfect, thank and you. And then on the bridge part, so let's bring that in. We can do this all separately. Let's pop those onto there. Just making sure we get them all the right, right way round. That's it, that way and that way. There we go. So exactly the same, but this time <laughs> we'll get those right. Uh, so on your plain green card, uh, you want five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then you want two and a half by two and three quarters and two and a half by two and three quarters. And then on your pattern pieces of card, you want five by two and a half. So that's five by two and a half. And then you want uh, two and a quarter by two and a half and two and a quarter by two and a half. So hopefully that all makes sense now into your mat and layers. So basically whatever card stock you're using and your cards, I'm just taking it in each for half an inch. I'm just going to find my tape pen again and we're going to mat and layer those over the top. <clears throat> so hopefully that's helped with the card sizes. It's the trouble when you're doing so many bits and pieces of paper, but it is something that every everybody struggles with yeah. is to how to mat and get those mat and layers perfect. Yeah, because it's nice to do it properly. I tend to just guess, but then sometimes I'll guess and it'll be slightly off and it'll yeah. really bug me. So it's good to do it. And then you cut into it more, yeah. um, which makes it worse because then it makes it smaller and then yeah. it makes a side one. And then you waste and... more paper than you exactly, need to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So sometimes we do just need to take that little bit of time and, uh, and take those measurements. Definitely. So just sticking those all into place. And popping that onto there. And then we're going to bring in that bridge part of our card. So this piece on our Z fold, what you do need to make sure is bring it up to your card again, just in case it's been turned round or you've put it to the side and it's the wrong way round. Mm -hmm. So if I put it this way, that's going to be inside out. You always need this longer piece is going to be your forefront and these two side pieces will be behind. So I know that this piece is going to go onto my front piece. 
So just sticking this into place. We're just going to stick these down and then I'm going to give you all a bit of a, well, give myself a bit of a breather and a drop of water just so uh, you can uh, get your sticking done. And uh, our lovely uh, Belle can, um, oh, Becky, Belle, I call her Belle and just in case anybody doesn't know, I always think she's a, pr a Disney princess, so I call her Belle, <laughs> uh, but her name is Becky. Well, I just call you <laughs> Becky Belle, that's what I should do. Yeah, BB. BB, yeah. yes, BB. <laughs> well, the fish needs to have some water. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let me just recap for you exactly what you're getting in this Liftables deal. You're going to be getting 60 elements in total. And what I do just want to say briefly is um, if you are brand new, these are dies. So I'm just going to be a pain and pick one up and turn it over just so you can see what's inside. So that these metal elements, we're going to show you how to use them soon. The size of these are great because you could use them with the mini tool, which I've got on show for you. And in this pack, you don't just get one, you get loads. For example, in this one, you get four pieces. So that means that you are getting 60 elements in total and you've got loads of different ones. So for example, these are things you can make with this. And trust me on this, you can even make things like this similar if you are brand new with the elements. So you are gonna get the stars, as you can see, lifting out. I've also got the fairies, which I think are so adorable. The dragonflies are the ones that we're going to be demoing with shortly. You've also got, as well as that, the hearts. I really love this one. That'd be lovely for a Father's Day one too, wouldn't it? And in this collection, you are going to be getting the flowers, which again, as you can see, they're liftable. Do you think that adds a bit of energy to the design? Yeah, me too. It really does, doesn't it? It's kind of like, ooh, it's, 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 it just makes it a bit more energetic doesn't it really um we've got the flutter buys as well in here which i do really like too isn't that a cute picture in the middle um and yeah i'll just show you the stars again because here's another one for father's day i have got more ones that i can show you in a little bit but for now that's everything you're getting in here and just as a reminder you have got here something which you can use time and time and time again these dies are reusable and so long as you store them correctly they will last your lifetime so feel free to treat yourself to those because if it is your first order today it's a great day because not only do we have things you're going to need and use such as uh, your cardstock and the mini uh, gemini on today but with your first order you're also getting a discount so this price you're seeing here it's actually 39.19 or 55 dollars 80 with that 20 20% off or of course if you are platinum so it's a great way to get involved and speaking of getting involved have a little look at this we've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed with continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. 
We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome back to Crafters TV. You are watching The Craft Along and we're going to be carrying on with more of your make in just a short time. If you've just tuned in, hi, yeah, my name's Becky. It's really nice to be with you today. We've got plenty of you being social whilst you're crafting along, I'm sure. Um, Gilmore's saying, hello team, Becky and Debbie. We've got a message in from Shadia saying, good morning, Becky and Debbie. I have all the products. But I'm too tired to craft along. We'll save the video because I've had a busy night shift at the hospital. Oh, yeah, sit back, relax, have a nice little, you know, cup of coffee or whatever. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to save that video. Thanks for that message. Um, Kathy's in um, saying hello to us all. Hope you're all good. Uh, we have got Joe saying, I have the Dragonfly liftables and I love them. Mm. Uh, we've also got Jane in saying, sorry, I missed the size of the base card. So do we mind repeating that for us? No, not at all. So the base card is eight by 11 inches uh, and the smaller piece of card, you then need an 11 by three inches. And then the score lines for those is for the big Big part is seven and three quarters by five. Uh, sorry, you score at. Oh, sorry, that's not the score lines. You score both of those. So let me start again. It's eleven by eight inches for your main card. Score that at, at two and a two and three quarter inches and five and a half inches. And then the next piece of card is three inches by eleven, and you score exactly the same. Two and three quarters by five and a half. Perfect. And as we were speaking of scoring, uh, not as in like football, <laughs> apparently that was on last night. I didn't know. Uh, we have got the scoreboard for you coming up, the schoolmaster, and we have got the um, Velabra as well on its way for you because this is something that basically if you are brand new it helps you create the perfect fold if you have ever tried to fold a piece of card perfectly dead center um, you'll know it can be pretty tricky with this tool though you are so in the right place we have got score master itself which has all of the grooves in so you just use the tool which comes with it to run down these and you can use this with paper you can use this with card you can even use it with acetates as well if you so wished and do not forget that the acetate uh, if you do love it we had the um, heat resist acetate on for you um, and it's on offer so do have a look on the web you've got the two different sizes as well so if you do want a little bit finer then you absolutely can as well as that in this deal you're getting woof, the envelope box creator as well now this is such a simple tool to create you can create boxes to fit pretty much anything you can think of. The thing I love about this is it comes with very simple instructions that you can follow step by step. So you can create your own 3D boxes. And there's lots of different things you need. There's ones here with little drawers in. Oh, look, these ones have got little candles um, in them. You can make your own little chalky box if you uh, like to rustle up a truffle. Um, so yeah, you can use these loads uh, together, of course. And the great thing with them as well, to Today, anyway, is you're getting 50 bonus points. Yep. So that may or may not tip you up to the next level of the Club Inspire, which means you get even more discounts. So not only are you getting around 30% discount, you're getting an extra 50 bonus points. So that could add on to your savings. So it's a lovely time to be able to seize the moment. And I will say again, if you are brand new, you're tuning in for the first time, your essentials that you want to get your hands on today are most certainly a die cut of some sort we've got the mini on today which is one of the most affordable and you want to get something like this maybe with your card stock and then sit back relax and enjoy the rest of the demo with Debbie I'm with you absolutely so this time we're going to take our solid card pack so any patterns that you've used just get your coordinating solids that go with it because we're now going to create those app those discs that we need using our nesting dies now I'm using our stitched edge uh, circle dies I love these ones they're my go-to that I use all the time and really lend themselves for so many different things mm. so I'm going to first of all just pick my papers that I need so I think we're going to have a green because obviously 
We've got green as our background colour. So I'm going to take out my green there and then we're going to have this nice peachy sort of colour. I love that one. It's not it's like cool. a peach, but it's such a, I don't know, almost like a, a dirty salmon, but in a, wow! nice, in a nice way. You know, like the colour <laughs> salmon. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? But it's got like a grungy look about yeah, it. Yeah, I know Does what you that mean. Make sense? I don't yeah. mean to call it a dirty salmon. That doesn't sound very nice, but. No, I like I, it. I know what I, I mean. mean. And I then we're going to have the red. I it if it was a perfume. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. You know, it might put you off. Yeah. And then we're going to go for the brown. So I'm using all these different ones. And obviously use these uh, as, you know, as your extras. Like you must have, we've all got a box full of little cutoffs and things yeah. like that. So you wouldn't be using full pages. But I'm doing this completely for, from scratch to show you exactly how we do it. So my first one, so I'm going to bring in my card. I know I need my largest brown one. The rest are smaller, but this one is the only one that won't go through our Gemini Mini. So bearing in mind, all these other sizes will go through your mini. So that's actually, great. that's quite good to know that we can use that in lots of our sizes. So I'm going to bring these in. I think it's about the, the third biggest one. Uh, let me just double check that. Yes, so that's going to cut out this. So I'm just going to use my scissors to cut this piece out. And we're going to send that one through. And then this one is for our red. So what I am going to do is I'm going to bring back in my guillotine and just see how many inches this one is to see if that will go through. So that would just go through. But as we're sending the brown one through, I'm going to do it just slightly bigger. So let's just give that a little bit extra and then just bring that round. So that will cut out my circle so we've got one i mean you don't have to stick to the colors i'm doing you can do these any way you want so i'm doing my biggest one in the brown and the next one down into this one but then what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure these now all to uh, just three inches by six inches because that's the size of my gemini mini folder so all my others can start to go through there so Great. i think we'll need some of this salmon color and pop that through. So again, I'm just going to do that three by six inches. And our last one, which is our green, I'm going to bring that in. Now these aren't in any particular order. I'm just cutting myself scraps. Okay. Just to make sure that these will all fit through our Gemini mini machine. If you haven't got one, you've just got your regular die cutting machine, you might find that you just want to uh, take everything and put it onto your platform of your Gemini and that will just all go through. Okie pokey. Don't forget, if you are crafting along, we may well, uh, you may well be happy to send in some pictures when we get um, a little bit further into the demo. So feel free to play with the colour palettes and then maybe you can send in your pictures uh, there at the bottom of the screen as to how you do it. It's studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. We would love to see your pictures and don't worry if it's not finished. Uh, we'll have some time at the end to finish it off. So these first ones I am just going to pop through onto my junior. So just placing those onto there. And then we're just going to start die cutting out all our circles. So I'm going to run that through. And then in the meantime, we've got all our different colours. And it's just about how you want to... Um, to add them to your card where you want to put them so before you stick anything down what I always recommend is just have a play with how you want them the composition of your card how it's going to affect the letters when we come to them mm -hmm. so it's just being mindful of all those things so that's our first one now with this one here I'm pretty sure let me just see I think we could probably get that into our folder yes it will literally it's it's uh, see I didn't want to cut that one because it, the die might just come over the the edges but I can definitely cut my uh, dragonfly into that great so what I am going to do for our first one I'm going to use my biggest dragonfly because that's going to be our main focal point doesn't matter where you put it on there because it doesn't matter if I turn it that way that way it's just a case of turning yeah. the card so just make sure it's inside those cutting lines and then I can pop that into my Gemini folder and trim that into there so holding that in, just making sure that that's grabbed. I'm going to bring in my mini. 
This mini is so cool. If you are brand new, this is a great way to get into die cutting, isn't it? It's so amazing. What I am going to check, yeah, that's gone. Well, actually, it could have done with a little bit more, but that will all come out. Because sometimes with the mini, because it's such a big die that, that goes right to the edge, um, you'll just need to poke these. I could have done it backwards and forwards. Uh, but what I, oh, I'm just trying to find myself a poke at all. There we go. But we can just poke all these bits out. If we'd done it backwards and forwards, Becky, it would have just, they fallen would have just out. all fallen out, yes. Mm. So, uh, but actually what it does is by me poking it out, it gives you a little bit more time uh, to catch up with your circles. Exactly. So you can see how easy that was to cut that beautiful one through there. It looks great, the dragonfly, it really does. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. And then we can pop that over the top. Uh, and these just have a really, rather than butterflies, they, they, they can be quite manly dragonflies, even though some of them are so beautiful, aren't oh, they? Yeah. So really lovely design. I mean, you might be making this for your mum because it's her birthday coming up, or your nan, so you can do it in, in anything that you want to do so that is our main topper that we've got for there um, and then i'm just gonna we're gonna then cut some more so i want to show one where we layer them up and slightly differently so i'm going to bring in my circles i'm going to show you like a, a clever way of doing something here so i'm just bringing in and i'm just making sure i get my right measurements so that's this one this one and this one now i'm going to use three uh, and i'll show you why because the bigger one i'm going to cut out of here which is again i need another piece a bigger piece so we'll just pop that back on and send that through our gemini and that will be our last biggest piece that we need so popping that on and sending that through And don't worry if you're not getting the exact circles because they don't need to be exact. You can have them whatever sizes that you want them to be. Uh, and actually it's quite fun just to mix and match them all in. And then when you come to set in your card, you can just place them before you cut them into it, before you stick them down uh, and have them uh, looking really cool. So that's my first one. So I'm just going to make sure that's out of the way. My second one then I'm going to bring in and cut on the green card. So I'm going to cut this one, but also, no, let's do it separate. I'm not going to confuse anyone and do it together. So you could cut your butterfly, your dragonfly and your base out at the same time. But because I am using the Gemini Mini, uh, I'm just going to do one step at a time. It's nice to let people catch up too, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, because I know I can go a bit quick. And uh, yeah, that's one of my downsides actually in crafting. <gasps> no, you do not have any downsides. <laughs> I refuse to hear it. I can go a bit quick. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my next butterfly. So this is the one. I'm just checking. I've got the right one there. Yeah. So I'm just going to place that one onto the green. Uh, just so it's in the middle there. Pop that over and run that one through. We've got Mary saying, I love my mini. I really love the handle um, of the Scoremaster as well. It makes it so easy to just grab it when you need. And the way the scoring tool fits into it is also a favourite feature. I, I always know. have mine with me. Yep, yeah, absolutely. It's an amazing machine. So we've got this one and we've got our brown one. So these will go over each other like this. And then what I'm going to do is bring in this salmon one and we're going to go the next size down. And we're going to cut that one through. So remember your three different sizes. Your middle one will have your second largest dragonfly. And I come past this by accident, I have to admit. And then what we're going to use is, where's my, we're going to use our biggest silhouette, what I call the one that's just got no pattern in yes, it. So I your see. biggest silhouette one, we're going to place that in the centre as well and run that through. So you're probably thinking, why now should I? Oh, no, we've got that on the camera there, so you can see. Perfect. Oh, George is on the ball, isn't he? 
So bringing that in. Now, what I realised when I was cutting all of these out, so you can imagine my craft desk was literally had dragonflies everywhere, lots of circles <laughs> everywhere, and I was just mixing and matching them. But what I did realise, if you put this one over, the body is exactly the same as the below. But what you do get, you get then patterned oh, wings underneath. Okay, that's very, very cool. And I didn't, you know, that was a complete accident, but I'm, I, I, I'm sure lovely. the design team knew that they worked like that. So you've actually got your beautiful wings under there. You could actually, I'm wondering, I wonder if they poke through. Uh, I think they might be a bit too big. That's cool. But, I like oh, it with I the think texture. They do. I think they do. Oh, they do. Bit of wiggling. Yeah, oh, they, they actually cut. They actually come through. So you just need to wiggle them a bit. Yeah, pull them through. Oh, look at that. We've actually got our wings that come through. The body is exactly the same as the one underneath. But what you've got is you've got that texture then of that's your two fabulous. different wings. Yeah. So that's another new thing because I that's thought cool. that was bigger underneath. But yeah, look at that. I mean, how cool is that? That's so Cool. Love that. So all I'm going to do now is lay that down and I'm just going to add my glue. So I haven't got my glory, but I have, let me find just some tacky glue. And then what we, we will do we is... We did have some, a, a glue stash on earlier. If you do want it, head onto our website because it was the, um, we had Totally Tiffany Karen bag and it had loads of different types of glues, including the one that's being used. So if you don't have any glue, then do seize the moment on that one. Absolutely. it was double points. It's double points on Totally Tiffany, isn't it? So enjoy. Oh, is it? I didn't know that either. No. Yeah, I've got all the either. inside gossip here. <laughs> <laughs> So let me just move all my sticky fingers off of here and hold that down into place so my tacky glue will grab and then we've got our beautiful wings that come up. That's great. Inside. So and then all we need to do is to just pop that glue round the outside. Less is more I always think with tacky glue so don't squeeze just let it come out naturally. And then that way, and you also don't put glue on your wings underneath. I know that might seem a sensible thing to say, but I have done it myself and stuck my wings down. Mm. So uh, yeah, pop all that into place and it just creates a really unique topper. But I great. love the way that the bodies meet. So you've got that dark brown in the centre, but you've got those two different colour wings uh, coming up there, which look amazing. So I'm just, while we've got this together, I'm going to stick this topper down as well. So let's just pop that, pop that round. I'm hearing a question, but I didn't really understand it. Could you cut the circle oh, and the yes. dragonfly at yes. the same time? So that's yes. what I was saying I was going to do earlier, but I didn't want to confuse anyone by going too far ahead. But you could absolutely use your circle and cut your die in at the same time, yes. Perfect, thank you. So there we go, we're popping all our dragonflies. So that's two of our dragonflies and now we're just going to cut out some more circles. But we're going to get sort of slightly smaller, we're going to bring in some more red, um, some more salmon. We've got our green and we need our brown. So let's pop them to the side and build up some more. So don't these colours go lovely together? They really do. Look very nice. So I'm just going to pop some of these back. Uh, and also just check if I need any. I think that's it. I don't need any of these bigger ones anymore. We're going to start switching down to our smaller ones. And what I love and what you can see about this die set is the fact that we have all these dies. I mean, I've already used three, but we've still got loads more that we can be using. And actually, I'm going to make sure I take my middles out of there. We don't need our big one anymore. So pop that back in. And then I'm going to start using our smaller ones of our circles. So just pop your other ones out the way so you don't get confused with them. And then we're going to use our bigger ones. So actually, I think we do. Have I got one missing or have I got one somewhere? Let me just double check under everything because I know what I'm like. Joe and Mary have messaged in saying it's my first time crafting along and there it's it so is. much fun. Oh, I'm so pleased. Yeah. And actually, the best time to craft along when we're doing something quite 
basic. Uh, and I say basic, I mean a lot of people wouldn't think a Z Fold card is basic, but it is for some beginners because it's a different style of card. Normally, this is our card that we would have, which would just have an open front and yeah. you decorate the front, you'd have the inside. So to just be able to do this and work something different is amazing. But yeah, then to be able to add your extra panels, which then create these, I mean, people really will be wowed by that when they receive them in the post Agreed. or hand by hand because yeah. they are amazing. So I'm just going to take out my bits here because I know that you'll be doing the same at home. So I'm just using my little pokey tool Speaking to go Speaking of that tool, um, Randy, does he know something I don't? Randy said before, don't drop the pokey tool, Debbie. <laughs> Did I never tell you about my accident with the pokey tool? I don't think so. So, no. Yeah, it was it was very bad actually, Becky. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good. So, uh, but I'm never worried about dropping my pokey tool anymore. So what had happened is I was crafting my pokey tool. I was sort of sat in my chair, pokey tool dropped off, right. and just I think it was just reaction. I went like that with my legs together, Ouchie. and it literally stabbed right into my leg. Oh yeah, literally right into my leg. Yeah. yeah, I had to have a tetanus and everything, and it took me ages to pull it out. You know when it's really gone in deep, and I yeah. was like, oh, and you just have to just grab it and pull it and I then bet you haven't done that again have I've you? never done no. and I've dropped my pokey tool many a time but I've just backed away yeah it's a good tip <laughs> absolutely so yes that's what that was about it's uh, me and my pokey tools so I'm gonna get some red cardstock green cardstock and I'm gonna mat and layer these ones up now, I, when I was doing this at home, I literally did just cut out lots of circles, lots of different colours, and started just putting them into each one. And I'll just bring in, so I had some extras here as well, that I just cut out just to see which ones will work um, and which ones that you then want on your card. So if you are doing a slightly different card, all you need to do is work out how you want to arrange them, how you want to layer them up. So whether you want to do one layer with just one dragonfly or three layers with your two dragonflies there's so many different ways that we can do them uh, and it's just a case of having a play cutting them out shifting them around because actually they're just card and even if you've got lots left over you can just use them for another one so I'm just gonna there we go just grab that into place so I can put both of those through at the same time once the machines grabbed we will hold that to go through so that will do us two layers there. Dip. And then I'm going to do another third layer with the next smallest one and run that one through. Don't forget this is using the mini Gemini tool, which is 25% off and you get a bag with it as well. That's so good. Fab, like, isn't it? So, yeah, absolutely so good. And I tell everybody, I tell my friends to tell her friends to get their children them, not for your children to craft on their own, but for you to craft with your children because these little machines are great for little ones. Like you don't, you can't, you can't get your fingers trapped in here. This is a straight, they have straight lines all the way through. No fingers can get trapped. There's nothing to hurt them. There's, There's nothing it's, plugged in. No, to nothing trip plugged in. Absolutely yeah. not. You've got really strong suckers. So actually, if you pop this onto a glass mat, your work surface, Surface, the kids are probably not going to be able to take that anywhere anyway yeah. so it's a really cool little machine for kids to craft in the summer and I have to say more than anything else these edibles are so good to be able to craft um, the liftables the sorry yeah. are so good to craft with the children could you imagine them cutting out all these different shapes and then having these little liftables that die cut and they can actually they stay in there and they come yet yeah, their wings pop out or the hearts move or anything that you're putting through them I love the fact that these are for all ages all genres they're just great dies to have because you can create such fun little embellishments they can be painting these as well you can get them more advanced children could actually paint all their little wings with their paints and I things so that. such lovely ways that we can do them I want to put them on a headband so if you get like a base headband, like one of the thicker ones, mm -hmm. and actually stick them on, say, in the circles, so long as you put like an, um, maybe like a waterproof, you know, spray on them, let them dry, you can actually have the wings poking up 
for like almost like a take on a hair garland for like festivals and Ooh, things. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I've got a couple really of cool. festivals coming up. So um, <gasps> jealous. I know. Well, I'm just totally, I've got my fingers crossed yeah. that they are. I'm going to an 80s festival next month. So oh, all the wow. all the old 80s bands, Banana Rama. <gasps> So, um, Chesney Hawks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, oh, that's amazing. I love both of those apps. Yeah, that's I'm so, cool. so looking forward to it. I'm just hoping it's still going ahead. As, yeah, it's still going ahead. Fingers crossed, I'll keep them crossed And do you know you. what? I hadn't realised today, Becky, I'd not really took much notice, but um, I, I bought a little present for uh, Kelly, who's she's leaving on maternity leave yes. soon. And, um, and she hugged me and I actually thought, oh, don't hug me because you're pregnant. Yeah. Like, but I didn't say anything because I thought, oh, yeah, it was lovely having a hug. Yeah. And then afterwards, I met Laura, which is another lady in the office, and she gave me the biggest hug. I said, oh, we're allowed to hug now. And I was yeah. like, oh, oh yes, we're allowed to hug. I <laughs> no, it's a good job no one knew that because I'd be hugging everybody. Yeah. Becky, I haven't even hugged you <laughs> yet. Honestly, I just think, I keep goodness. forgetting. It, I do. Mm. It's weird. We can hug, and I loved it. I just didn't want to let go. I was like, oh, I'm not let go now. <laughs> I know I can hug you. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and, right, so let's cut some more out so um i don't know if you want uh, i don't know if you want to recap on anything i know people want to see but we're uh, we're good with um continuing to cut out uh, i'm just going to cut out a few more um so we can get these put onto our card i am being told that i am allowed to show you something uh, which is something it's it's a sneaky peeky i would say a sneak peek of something that we've got coming up on cartload in a little while. It is a Sara cartload that we've got coming up for you. And um, yeah, it's, well, it's a mystery, let's say. Mystery bags we've got coming no, up for No, not a mystery you. bag. They're amazing. <gasps> they are like, say, so amazing. But I'm going to be quiet. You're just going to see me cutting these out, Becky, and layering them up. We've only got a few more to do. So um, those of you that are uh, watching, we will just uh, continue just to layer up our... Um, our little, I'm trying to find my other one. Where's that gone? That must Whilst be you're one. finding, yes, I'll sneak it. peek. Mystery bag! It's such a mystery! <laughs> but it's not. Well, it is. It's not to me. I am allowed to look in this. But I'm not allowed to show you anything. However, oh. earlier on, earlier on this morning on Cartload, I did show, on, on uh, Wake Up Call, sorry, I did show you two products. So I think that if you're just tuning in now, it would be really rude not to show you those two products again even though I'm not meant to. And the reason I'm going to show you these is because we have got some at Mega tonight. If you're brand new, maybe you've not watched a cartload, tonight is the Sara cartload. They only happen once a month and it's a full three hours of bargains. But when I say bargains, I mean like bargains. <laughs> they are massive. And this is one of the special treats that we hardly ever get to get on. This is one that Sabra creates for you, and it is a mystery bag. Now, I will go through what's in this later on in Cartload that does start at 7 p.m., doesn't it? Yes, yeah, 7 p.m. Um, here in the UK, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'll show you two of the elements in here, but I'll go through more of it later. As you can see on your screen, these in here, I'm going to guarantee you over £100 worth of products, and this is just two of them. I'll show you the rest later. These are just two of them. So I have got for you here, your beautiful, unique and individual decorative outline dies that you can use on beautiful elements, including the likes of your adhesive stickers. You can use them with foils and the likes. And then I've got for you, the wonderful home design um, uh, stamper and uh, sorry, the um, sentiment standout from the crowd embosser and so that we've got that folder for you there. So these together, if you just wanted to buy those and nothing else, it'd be 30 quid. So everything else in here, and I'm not allowed to show you, but everything else in here, um, including 50 pieces of that, 18 pieces of that, one piece of that, one piece of that, what you mean? I'm not allowed to say this. Another one of that, nice stamp, nice stamp. I've got another die there. I've got all of these elements that I've got for you, you're getting for free. 
It's incredible, isn't it? So that is available for you. I have got a second option as well. I will just let you know that if you bought two or three or five of this bag, they will all be the same. Um, whereas if you bought one of those bags and one of these, those will be different. And I promise you that you're not going to get any of the same elements. So although that one has some stamps in it, it's not the same stamps that are in here. I'll give you another little sneak peek of something in here because I am just slightly obsessed with this. It is a polar bear. I know it looks sort of disjointed here, but when you cut them out and you put them all in together, you make the most cute character. If you love that and say, oh, I don't know, you love this, for example, and this one's uh, actually been opened and used, but just to give you an idea of what you're getting, those lovely stamps in there, if you bought these two, they would be £32. But today you're only getting them for $30. It's at £30, sorry. It's incredible, isn't it? Should be over £105 worth of goodies in here, including embossing folders and much more. So you're treating yourself, basically. You're getting a bag full of treasures. Ooh, um, but, <laughs> but you're getting it today for just £30. My producer's going, stop it, stop it. I did not expect that can't help it so it is a fabulous deal for you treat yourself to those and we will go through them fully in cartload later on for now though hopefully you're, you're you've done all your circles etc let's head back on over to debbie for more of our craft along i'm with you they're cool, though, aren't they? She was very naughty, wasn't she? I can't and in help fact, it. I have to say, I'm saying she's naughty. I think she was very good because if I'd had the bag, I would have shown you a few more. <laughs> I've been told I'm definitely, definitely not allowed. I to. know, and I'd be. I'm so naughty like that. So it's a good job I didn't get hold of the bag. So yes, as much as Becky's naughty teasing, she was very good not showing you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so all I've been doing is, while uh, Becky's been showing you the bag, is just cutting a few more circles out. So hopefully you've just been cutting a few out as well so I'm just layering them some on top of each other and also we're then just going to bring in some of these smaller ones just to add that little bit of interest onto here so again bringing in my Gemini mini let's bring that round here uh, I'm then gonna take these to pop onto the top for me when I'm crafting I really want to uh, be able to enjoy what I'm doing and I yeah. can't tell you enough how much I enjoyed doing this card it wasn't just about doing the card it was it was making it was giving me a chance to have me time That's to lovely. take my own time to actually do what I wanted to do and because it was a card and I was very cheeky because I did think to myself and I've done this before and people will know is that I sometimes just do cards that I know I've got coming up like I've done my granddaughter Avers I've done that as a prep kit yeah, just lovely. so yeah so I could then get those cards done and I thought oh with Father's Day coming up it's an ideal opportunity to get a Father's Day card done. Um, so hopefully lots of you will be making Father's Day cards along with me because I don't know about you Becky but where on earth did May go? It's just disappeared. Just yeah. it honestly it's just disappeared yeah. uh, and it, it's quite worrying really to think that we're yeah we're nearly halfway to Christmas George is saying in my ear and it's <laughs> it's uh, a sickeningly true Bonkers, <laughs> isn't it? oh there's absolutely loads of people getting involved and uh, one actually which is so cute this is Kath saying my granddaughter loves to craft with me and yeah. has made her mum and dad cards. I got the small oh, dime machine and she loves cutting things out. And Andrea is saying, I bought my daughter, who is five, the Gemini Mini, and we craft together yeah. and she loves it. Yeah. My granddaughter's six and she loves it. She, I've actually, she's got one. I bought her one. So, um, yeah, and she loves it because, at, and also at that age, I mean, let's face it, they're our new generation of crafters, aren't they? Absolutely. Um, I've cut that through to both and actually it's made a beautiful imprint there. It hasn't cut out fully, but you can see the imprint of that inside, yeah, which actually great. makes a, a nice matte and layer. So I'm just going to take out the uh, pieces from my top layer here. Yeah, and what's nice about that age group is they so 
it's like you've given them the best gift ever when mm. they see what something can do. It's like magic. Yeah. You know, when, when you show them a piece of card that goes through a machine mm. and it comes out with something cut into it or cut out, it truly, it's like magic in their eyes. It's so lovely. Do you know what I love about it as well with younger people doing this type of craft is if I were to teach my great niece, say, who's uh, coming up to eight, if I was to teach her how to draw a dog, mm -hmm. because I'm quite a bit older than her, she probably wouldn't be able to draw the dog as good as I could. Yeah. But with something like this, I show her the technique, and her, for example, liftable dragonfly would come out looking exactly the same as yes. mine. Yes. So, so true. And it was funny you saying that because a similar thing happens with me. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was crafting with my granddaughter and she, um, we were colouring because she loves colouring. Mm. And, uh, and she loves obviously Nanny's pens because Nanny's pens are much more juicier than her felt tips. <laughs> but her mum doesn't like me to, to let her have them because obviously their alcohol markers are permanent. So she hasn't always been so careful, but she now, because she wanted Nanny's pen so badly, yeah. she now, her colouring is incredible. And I genuinely think she's at a level, and she's only six, where she will now start to learn to blend. She oh, now doesn't sad. go out of the lines. And, but she my, obviously, she looks at my colouring, and she always she says, Nanny, your colouring is so good. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> and it's so lovely, because I'm always worried that she then won't want to colour, because she doesn't think her is as good but actually for her age hers is amazing it's brilliant uh, and i'm constantly telling her so but she's very crafty uh, and i just can't wait for her to get older well i can because she's growing up too fast but you know what i mean yeah I to do. see where she it takes her because she just loves crafting That's and i'm very fun. lucky my daughter's a very messy play person she loves getting out the paints the play-dohs the mm. pens you know i mean a lot, i know some of my friends lots of mums they don't like that it's like nope we're not getting out that messy stuff today <laughs> But she doesn't mind at all. It's brilliant, that is. So what I'm doing with this one is I'm putting it over the top so you haven't got that rim, but you've got that different... Um uh, what's the word? Different uh, colour underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so different the colour underneath. Circles same size use. circles. But then we can. I thought I had a bigger circle to put it on. But oh no, we're not going to put that one on a bigger size. We're just going to leave that one as it is. Lovely. So we've got all our circles. I've just got two more to mat and layer, and then we can start constructing our card and uh, see how we put them together. Perfect. So. Whilst yeah, that's you're it. putting them in together, let me just show you quickly the Gemini Mini that we are talking about. This is the fabulous tool. You've seen Debbie use it. If you are purchasing this today, you will be able to be die cutting to your heart's content. What we have in here for you is the tool itself. You can see you've got the movable, ham, ha, uh, the movable handle. This is a fabulous bit of kit. As you can see, it's going to give you perfect cut elements each time. So for example, I know this sounds kind of a bit bonkers, but you see these lovely dies that you have here, these liftable elements, all of these butterflies, you could cut these out using this machine and it's gonna look really nice and professional. So you have got the cutter and you get the bag included within this bundle, which of course is perfect for your storage. You're gonna get loads and loads and loads of space in there for all of the extra elements that you need. And the lovely thing is, you are not only getting that for free, but you're also going to be able to get that added discount. Nearly £13 saving or nearly $17 you're getting on this one today. So it's a wonderful treat for you to get your hands on. Do not forget though, if you are getting this for somebody or maybe it is your first order, you do get the extra discount on it as well. If you would like to grab your hands on the liftable dies that we showed you before, some of them you can use in that machine. These are the ones that we have on the show for you today. We have got in this bundle, and when I say bundle, I mean, you don't have to pick which one you get. Oh no, you get all of them in one and that mega discount. We have got for you butterfly, we have got for you the stars, we have got for you the flowers as well. Love that card, it's brilliant. I know I've put it upside down, but it's great, isn't it? <laughs> I've also got for you in that the dragonfly, which we are demoing with as well. So you're getting the six different looks there, all in one bundle. 
today to be able to use over and over and over time and time again and again you've got that mega discount and it does mean that if you are with our club inspire a platinum you're actually only spending 39 pound 19 or 55 dollars 80 so it's a brilliant chance for you to be able to get them at a wonderful discount deal so do that whilst you can i will just let you know as well that if you are crafting along we will be asking for you shortly to send in those pictures if you want to because it's lovely to inspire each other so do just maybe make a note of this one if you fancy it and uh, for now though let's head back on over to the fish i'm with you ah oh, brilliant now we've done all our die cutting we've done our card now we're going to construct it all together so i've put all my dies back on my carrier sheet and my dragonfly so we are done with those then going to bring in our card now this is so easy to do because your measurements are exactly the same as your card base as what they are for this one so if I turn it around this way you can see these cards are exactly the same so when I turn it the opposite way so this bridge goes across and we're going to have our bridge a little bit up here the other side will go across perfectly That's so great. all you need to do if I turn that over you glue this square here and this square here you don't want to glue anywhere in this side so you just turn it over and we're going to apply and I'm just going to use my tape pen we are going to apply that tape pen down those sides could you use a different type of glue if you've not got a tape pen? oh absolutely you could use your tacky glue your all-purpose any glue is suitable for this card because um, uh, it's non we've not got any shiny surfaces so it's not going to take any surfaces off of anything because with right. your uh, all purpose it's a solvent glue so it's not good for mirror card and centura pearl that sort yeah. of thing but a tacky glue especially our kalau tacky glue which is my favorite mm. um it's just uh, uh well that and the tape pens it's because they're both so quick yeah. so all i need to do is as you put in that on i can feel the rim here touching against this side so I can't go wrong because all I need to do uh, coming up the card a little bit I can feel that now it won't go anywhere is pop that onto that side and to this side and rub that down so that can't that won't go anywhere or stick to anywhere that it shouldn't so you can see it's got that boing factor already oh, so if I bring that up that fits absolutely perfectly with our so if I bring it that way you can then see we've got that perfect Z fold card ah. and that is what you call a Z fold card now the great thing about these cards you can use them um, let's say you wanted to do sort of almost like a pop out if you put some acetate strips we did them last week where you put your little characters on them yeah. you could put your flowers or anything because they Jeez. could all actually stick inside and oh. all like pop out of here nice. and then when it folds it folds flat so it's a great card for doing lots of different things with so this is one I know it was Sarah's at one point it was her absolute favorite favorite card to make uh, and I just thought I wonder if everybody actually knows most people do but if you didn't know it'd be great to hear from you yeah. so what we're now going to do is arrange our cards so what I'm going to do is grab my paper pad with those letters in them because we've got those really lovely big letters so you've got the uh, bigger ones they're all lowercase but they're gorgeous sizes you get plenty on here or you can use your smaller ones you've got all these buttons in here I mean they'd be great I mean you could actually make your dad like almost like a shirt and put the buttons on the shirt for him oh, from nice. here so that. many different and you've got all these different tags so actually I did use a tag on this card I'm just gonna see which was the tag this was the one because it really I thought summed up my dad so it says kindness um, and it says the quality of being gracious generous generous and considerate oh that's a and I just saw it was really lovely and that it just nice. shows it doesn't have to be uh, for just females no, of so course not. I thought that was a really nice one so we're going to use that all I'm going to do with this one is just trim off those little tabs just to tidy it up at the side and I say tabs they're really minute little notches um, but it just makes it you can also get a nail file and sand them down at the side and they will be perfectly fine but I thought that would look nice on this panel here so we're going to stick that onto our inside lovely so just grabbing again my tape pen and I know I'm using the tape pen but 
I don't even have to really use it for quickness because we're doing this stage by stage, step by step. Just seeing the time, honestly, I don't know where these craft alongs go from, where go to. They just <laughs> speed along. And then what we're going to, oh, you know what? I got the, um, I got this and then um, forgot to get my letters out. So we're going to obviously have a D for dad. So D and A. And then I'm going to just pop a, oh, that one didn't want to come away there. Let me just pop that one off. And then we're just going to grab another D. It's great that you have multiples, isn't it? Oh, you get, and lo you get loads. Yeah, I get mean, loads there's of loads of them on that page, which is great. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of ones. And you can really play, can't you, with words these days, especially when we do the old mobile spill and all the different ways texting yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah. text. Yeah. I, I have to still check with some people what it means because I'm not always fully up there with, or down there with the kids, as they say, not up there with the kids. <laughs> Not that my uh, kids would ever expect me to be down with them, so uh, this one doesn't <laughs> seem to want to pop out. So I'm just going to give that a little helping hand there. So. Loads of you getting in touch with us, which is really, really nice. Susie T is saying, I love this card. Something I wouldn't have thought of, but I have all of the pieces. You could use all kinds of small dies with the same card design. I agree with you there, Susie. Um, Susie's also had a great idea saying you could sparkle up the wings too of the dragonflies maybe Brilliant. with a clear yeah. sparkle pen or even coloured ones perfect yeah absolutely oh, we've got glitter markers on have. the show actually that'd be I perfect don't think for I meant it. to grab them before the show and I completely forgot but um, yeah, the glitter markers would be amazing. I yeah, love absolutely. That. Yeah, really nice. So the first thing I would do is check where you want to put these and have a play. So I know that this is my big main uh, main topper. I want to sort of have it at the side, or I could have it this way. But I'm going to pop it this way, and we're going to have that on the forefront of our card. And I want these to sort of go around it as well. So I'm just going to check where we want to place these. I'm just going to have them on the line. So the first thing I know I've got to do is to put this into place. So I know that where I've got my fingers, I need to go around there. So I'm just going to use my glue to go around that part so it will only stick where I need it to stick. And then we're just going to make sure that that's in the right position there. And I'm just going to also make sure that that glue is not so it's perfectly where I have my fingers. So there's no glue in there. Oh, that way, yes. Uh, no glue in there whatsoever, so it's not going to stick my card together. And just go round onto there. Oh, I wish I'd re remembered about them. Do you know when you have so many things on your mind and uh, I suddenly thought to myself, I must remember to use the um, glitter markers. If you've not seen our glitter markers before, they really are amazing. Um, and they always go out of stock. I don't think they've been in stock for a long while, Becky. Well, I've got all three sets Ooh, in a bundle. exciting. Mm. Very exciting. So let's put our dad along the side there. So holding that into place and then we're just going to put the rest of them there because I know that my others, uh, my other dies I'm going to put around them. Perfect. And you just put them wherever you want them to go. So put in that big A. I mean they're lovely size big letters. And then our next D. We've got Kathy who's just messaging saying, I didn't have a clue how to make cards, but I'm learning a lot from this craft along. Thanks oh, so much. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. That's really good. Yeah, it is so good. Do you know what, Becky? It's the best thing about Crafters TV is the education. Yeah, you know, not that. only because you can buy the products, which is incredible in itself, but I love that we don't leave people just to get on with it. Yeah. It's not a case that, oh, please just buy this and then go away, then we'll buy. get to the next bit. Yeah, yeah not at all. Yeah. The education is so important to us, so important to Sarah, uh, and it all makes a massive difference. Really, So does. I'm going to bring in some of my phone uh, pads now. But again, like I said earlier, I didn't have my bag with me, so I have this awful feeling I haven't got any, which is fine. Oh, Ooh, I know what we can isn't use. Isn't there some in the drawers behind it's you? It's all right. I've just realised I'll use some um, 3D. 3D glue gel, yes. Perfect. 
and we did have the total the tiffany bag earlier on that had this type of glue in it amongst others so uh, you can grab it if you want to oh yeah that's looking nice bit of 3d That was, uh, if you heard, no, it's fine. That was <laughs> Debbie whispering to John. Do you know what? I'm really, was... I'm really not good at hiding things. I'm so terrible <laughs> because I do stop mid-sentence as well. And I, don't, I, I really need to learn, don't I, not to do that. John came in with his <laughs> cape of foam pads. Yeah. He didn't want any. <laughs> I thought, well, actually, I'd forgotten that I could use the glue gel. It's just that on my list, I did put um, uh, foam pads. So, but you can use your glue gel as well Perfect. but you can see we're just starting to position these beautifully uh, wherever that we, wherever it takes us really wherever we want to put them on our card uh, that look amazing and I think we'll just put another one down here and it's really I think uh, Learning when to stop, I think, is the case here. Like when mm. you think you've had enough or you don't need any more. Yeah. So I think this last one we're going to pop onto here and just put that at the side. Gorgeous. And that gives us our beautiful card. I love that. Oh, that it round. just looks beautiful. And there we go. That's great. But it's, a, it's just a really nice card to do, isn't it? It's a yeah. great one to learn how to do. It's a great one for that movability. But honestly, you've got such a gorgeous card with those dragonflies. I absolutely adore these liftable dies. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. OK, you have now got time to finish off your cards. Stick the elements where you want them, you know, put the dragonflies, whichever order you want. And then if you do fancy sending us a picture, get them to us in the next sort of 10 or so minutes and we'll see if we can show them. That would be great. We did mention the glitter markers and these are magical. These ones are your coloured glitter markers. And as Debbie uh, said, we haven't had them in, in a long aisle time, let alone in a big stash together. Now, if you haven't seen these before, let me tell you, the beautifully saturated colour, because I will just say that this is singular layer, the wonderful saturated colour is one thing, but when you tilt these, can you see them coming alive? Oh my gosh, it's like magic fairy glitter has run through these. Now you're going to be getting three packs and I want to show you the packs and how they come just in case you haven't seen them. So you've got these ones here, which has got um, sort of your, I would sort of call these the, na the nature colours because you've got the cooler side of the colour spectrum. We've then got your spicy, vibrant floral colours. And then we have got your neon rainbow. And just to give you an idea of taking one out here, because I know, um, you know, you can get like the glitter pens, that are the very, very fine glitter pens. You get them in sort of your craft shops, don't you? These are nothing like that because check out that nib. It is so, so, so sizable that it means, in fact, I'm just going to grab this board. I'm just going to grab the board and just show you how they go on so nicely but as i've just added that can you see now i'm tilting it there's another layer of glitter and this is one of the great things with these you can absolutely layer up that color and layer up that glitter and you've got something beautifully steadfast that is one of the reasons upon many that we absolutely adore these so you don't have to choose which pack you want nope you're getting all of them today and you're getting them for just 32 pounds or 45 dollars and they're going to go great with of course the likes of the dragonfly because that was I think was susie wasn't it who had the great idea about coloring in the wings well let me remind you, you have got the liftables in this collection next to me. The dragonflies were in here as well. So let me just show you the ones that Debbie has been crafting with. So this is your dragonfly one. Um, the dragonflies are the ones that we've been crafting with. And actually, I think it's perfect uh, for, for card making at this moment in time with summer around the corner. Because you do tend to see more dragonflies. Also, actually, dragonflies, I don't know if you knew this, but they are a creature that symbolizes self-reflection. Um, so I think this could be a really nice card maybe for someone who maybe they're looking at, you know, moving house or a new job or something like that. The dragonfly is actually something that represents um, reflection. So this could be good, maybe a reflection on the year or whatever. Um, we have also in here got the fabulous fairies with the list of all wings. You have got the um, 
stars as well, which as you can see, you can use these in loads of different ways and with the different sizes. You could do something relatively simple in the sense of just straight line and they look great, don't they? You've got the flutterbys in here as well. You've got the lovely hearts for all of those that you love. And then we have got the flowers as well. And the flowers are kind of a little bit uh, unique in essence because, if I just show you this one here, you can see that in elements you actually have a double pop-up so you've got this layer and the center layer on these ones so very unique indeed you don't have to choose again you get them all in one and today massive saving for you and again you've got all of those beautiful creations so do seize the moment on those ones if you so wish Whilst you are there, if you have been making along with us, do remember to get those photographs sent in to us. If you've just been sat there watching, thinking, oh, I quite fancy making this, don't forget to save this video. You'll be able to watch it back, but also make sure that you've grabbed everything you need. And now is the perfect time to check out your baskets whilst you watch this. We have got so much coming up for you today. <coughs> It is the mega cartload tonight, myself and Sarah. We have got so much coming up for you. I am not even allowed to tell you. One thing I will say is you buy one, you get seven free. What? I've also got wake up call for you tomorrow. That is 12 p.m., 7 a.m. for you. That is the wake up call. So we will find out more about that tomorrow. But we have got oodles more coming up for you as i've said and one thing you may well have noticed is i keep mentioning things like oh if you are a platinum member then you get an extra 20 percent off the price so that happens with with absolutely everything um or if you you might have heard earlier on we were talking about if you bought the uh, craft box you got the extra 100 points and you might be thinking what is this point system about well have a little look at this video to tell you some more We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. getting involved with those discount deals if you have just tuned in oh hi how are you how's your day going so far 
what you're eating, what you're making, especially what you're making, because this is the craft along. If you have been crafting along, get those photos taken. You can just do it on your mobile phone. You don't have to be a professional. And you can send it in to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. If you're thinking, Bex, I need like five more minutes, you can have them. You can have them. You can have those five more minutes. Do feel free. And also, don't worry if you're only part way through and you think, I need to add a few more bits, still send your pictures because we would love to show them on air and share them. We've already started to get some through, which is really exciting. We have been talking all about those liftable die collections for you today. And we have been going for the 60 elements that are on screen for you. And we've been crafting with them. And that is not the end of our crafting. Oh, no. We've got even more more coming up what are we looking at now lovely it's always really good just to get some extra demos in yeah. so obviously you might not be able to craft along but you can definitely write the measurements down and you can craft with it later so glad you're enjoying the craft along and we'd love to definitely see your pictures so yes definitely send those in so i've took a piece of craft card uh, i've cut this 11 and a half by five and a half okay so okay. 11 and a half by five and a half and we're going to put this onto our scoreboard now if you've got the big score uh, you can do your score and all the way along if you've got the big score the measurements are five um you score at two and three quarters five and a half then eight and a quarter and 11 but because i've only got the small school board uh, and i know lots of people have got this one we're going to score in our first measurement at two and three quarters so two and three quarters we're going to put that score line and we're going to put our score line in at five and a half oh nearly went to six then oh me and Again. my glass honestly <laughs> i need to wear my glass is much more we have got this scoreboard on show if you fancy it now once you've put those two lines in then you can fold and burnish so fold and burnish that line and then we're going to do exactly the same this time putting that folded line up to our scoreboard so this is where you can always utilize your scoreboard even when you haven't got a bigger one so just making sure that's in the slot and again we're going to go at two and three quarters and then we're going to go at five and a half. And that's going to give the measurements for our little sort of pop-up card box. So I'm just going to fold this in. We've already got that line folded. Fold our next line in. And then we've got this little piece at the side. And what that's going to do, that's going to give us our little tucking part that we glue together. So we can actually glue this part to that and it means we've got this lovely style box but that will fold flat as well right. so that's our first part done then the next thing we're going to do i'm going to just because of time what i've done is you want half of these so this time we've gone in i'm just checking so these are two and a quarter inches down and 11 across and again you want to score in at two and three quarters five inches then fold it then two and three quarters and five inches and that gives you the same but this time we've got our little tab so i'm going to bring these round uh, it's creating smaller boxes if you like so mm. these will glue together and the same with this one glue this one together so we've got our two pieces so what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate them so the first thing i want to do and actually i'm going to bring this box in because i've actually put inside the panels and then i've glued it together so this gives us our first stand-up box but it also gives us something nice on the inside to look at so when it's folded flat and it pops open we've got that gorgeous design so with our other ones these are going to be slightly different so i'm going to bring in my liftables just going to bring in some scraps of paper let's do a couple of these and I thought I there it is <laughs> mm. I was just about to say I thought I had my liftables at hand but they were hiding underneath my scoreboard so I'm just going to bring in two of these so let's place these into the center um, I think this one might be a little bit oh no it won't be too big I thought it would be too big let's do that the opposite way so we've got our two there I'm going to bring in my Gemini mini because it will go have these go through no problem whatsoever Perfect. so popping them into the center and this one you could take them down but to be honest i mean i have got ones already done but once you've got them in your folder and you just hold that first one down let me just pop that into there so once you've got those grabbed you can then hold them through and they will cut out beautifully 
So I've just used some nice pattern papers. Pop that to the side. Take those out. Now a little tip with uh, with when you're using coloured cardstock, you could cut that out of a darker one and then trim it out and put your wings over the top. But actually, all you really need to do, and I'm just going to grab myself. Um, in fact, I'm going to go in the bin just to get a scrap piece of paper <laughs> out, <laughs> because what you could actually do is using your ink pads. I'm going to use my ocean blue uh, just to go over the top of our inks, finding my little daubers. There we go. And then with that card underneath, it means we can highlight that. Lovely. And it just makes it really pop. We do have these inks on show if you want them, head to our website. And because we're using, I'm using the pigment ink pads, uh, you could always heat emboss as well. Ooh. But it's a nice way of being able to get that detailed image to pop. I mean, look at that. It looks so different. Like we've got yeah. a completely different colour in the centre there. And then if we were to do the again, but do that one in a pink, we can do exactly the same. I'm just going to take my pink dauber. That, that might not be very pink, but it looks pinky. We'll just go over the top. That's what I love about these daubers. I don't even need to ink them up. I can just uh, go in and, and ink them. So pop it on. There we go. Great. And then we can just really lift those nice out of the actual uh, cardstock. So nice little tip there if you wanted to colour them in. And then even like everyone was saying, we could use our glitter markers, we could put our glitters on them if you'd put your glue pen around them. So lots of different ways. And then what we're going to do with this one, we're going to make a bit of an unusual card. Let's pop those to the side. I'm going to bring these in. But what I'm going to do is already have one and bring in my extra pieces. So with this one, you can see what I've done is put our butterflies on that cube. So this is the cube, which obviously goes all the way round. Okay. We've decorated the inside with these, which is what I'm going to do now. Yeah. So we've got our four panels to decorate on the inside. It's just about having that visual aspect of, of your creation that you can look through, see your gorgeous papers. I do love using craft card when we're using sort of greens and creams and greens. It just works so well. It gives it that shabby chic finish, doesn't totally, it? Totally, yeah. And especially when you're using butterflies. Yeah, definitely. So popping those all into the inside. And what I like about projects like this as well is the fact that they still fold flat. You know, and I, I think especially in this day and age where we're posting so many more of our creations, yeah, which it's is nice to have them folding flat. Definitely, because it saves you money on your postage. Absolutely. Yeah, they're quite sneaky, aren't they, the postage these days? So if it's not flat enough, you pay then have to pay for a parcel. You pay for a larger one. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So what I'm going to do is make sure, let me bring this one in, and then we're going to add a little bit. So I'm going to show a little trick here. So I've got a little um, hug that I've um, stamped out. Uh, and on the back, I've put two pieces of card folded. So it's just this is a piece of card folded and that's a piece of card folded. Uh -huh. uh, and what that does is it creates two quite strong. That will make that quite strong mm. then. It's like a little holder. And what I'm going to do, these, are, this is going to go onto this piece of card here yes, because cool. what I want it to do is I want it to I want the card when I'm putting this on so if I bring this one in first this piece is going to stick so this bit of the back where you've put your little tab mm -hmm. that's going to stick on the front of here but we want that little bit underneath it so we're going to do our first one and I'm just going to take this down so it stays in place in fact we can put both down just in the center making sure that that's only in the center of our card I'm just checking where that will come to when that's open because we want it sort of in the middle that's it so I'm going to pop that there it will all become clear because it's actually quite a hard car, so that's going to pop out, but that stays in the middle. Right. So can you see? It's quite yes, a nice little fold. yeah on the actual fold there, uh, and then we're going to pop our boxes into place. Now I am going to use a wet glue for this because uh, we want to get some of that uh, wiggle room. 
So just popping that in there. Now what I always recommend when you're using tacky glue, um, and we don't always do it, but it still works, is to wait 30 seconds to a minute because then your glue starts to evaporate and what happens, it makes it tacky. You'll actually feel it going a bit tacky, like I can feel it now going a bit tacky. Uh, and that way you can then pop that into place. So I'm going to take this and pop that underneath and then just lay that into place. Now, because it all folds up, I, I can't go wrong with where it's gonna go. So pop that into place and position it there. So that will go into place and then that will then fold down. So just like that. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. We need to glue this one into place. So let me pop this one onto here. Okay. So just some glue at the side and hold that one into place. I always like to put that on the outside because uh, you don't see that when it's glued then into place. And then what we're going to do is glue that one into here. But we're first of all, we're going to put on the opposite. So I've got my bits here. Let's put our, well, in fact, we could do two pink ones at the front. So let me just make sure that glue's on hold. So that's going to be our top one. Yes, let's put it like that. Popping these on here. This is so uh, producer George has just said she's thinking alphabet blocks and actually what an amazing baby's card this would make. Lovely. Um, just want to get this right. There we go. On to that bit. Yeah, it would make a beautiful. Oh, and you could put the ABC from the books from we the were book using earlier. earlier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so many things we could do. And pop that one on to the top. Loads of people sending in their craft along pictures. If you do have one, do get it sent in now if you possibly can. We'll give you a minute or so to do that and then we'll have a lovely look at what you've been creating. It's nice to see people's makes, isn't it? Especially oh, with the craft -along. so nice. Yeah, so nice. It's one of those relaxed shows that we can really just enjoy crafting yeah. and not just us, I mean, because we enjoy it all the time, but yeah. you at home, to be able to craft along, do that step by step with us. Yeah, uh, yeah it makes a massive difference. Mm. I think it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And the main thing is it's a little bit like um, where we used to do video content, but you used to have to buy the DVDs right. where now you can just go back and watch them whenever you want to watch them. That's so right. we've got our parts on there and then then I just need to do this one that we made and this one and we're going to pop these onto our top. So there we go. This is, um, this is the sort of one actually that could have been a craft along, absolutely. Maybe we'll do this for a now. I've got one in a couple of weeks. In fact, why don't you let us know if there's anything that you would like to see that you're finding difficult because I've got a craft along. Uh, it's... I think it's not next week, it's the week after, and I think it's with the connecting sentiments. I mean, it could change, oh, yes. but I do have one with the connecting I think sentiments. That's with me. Ah, I think, there you I think go. The thing. Yes. So that one, I'm just letting our George know that one's being changed to a masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes that happens in our craft. It's because it's because because all of you out out there, you buy everything, and then we have no stock to do it with. So we've got connecting sentiments. So if there is something you'd like to see with the connecting sentiments, like a project, I'm always happy. Even if it's just uh, we do it like this, a demo afterwards. Let us know if there's something you'd like to see. Perfect. Thank you. That's Thursday great. the tenth. I've got that on. So uh, yeah. There we go. So when that all pops out, if I turn that round to the camera. Yeah, the grand reveal. That's it. That <laughs> then comes down, Woo! that pops out, and that gives us that beautiful cubed card, That's which so just cool. looks amazing. It does. It looks fantastic. And that is just an added extra bonus demo. I want you to pick your make of the show, the demo of the show, because a craft along normally you get one, don't you? But no, we've had extra time. So message in, this is so difficult. So there's the first one, which is the craft along, right? So the dad card is number one, or if you'd like to vote for the rock, the, what are we calling that one? 
the blocks. The blocks, yeah. The, <laughs> the building blocks. Card. Yeah. <laughs> then message in for that one, which is your second one. And you can do that on our socials. And what we'll do is we'll then pick the demo of the show. So do get that in. I can't believe you managed to fit another in. Oh, she's fabulous isn't she <laughs> we have got a little reminder that coming up for you later on myself and the wonderful sarah davies are here for the mega three hour cartload there are going to be demos bargains and surprises one of them that i've been told to keep a surprise is the mystery bag and i just wanted to let you know you can purchase it now if you want to and that means you get ahead of the curve so later on when we bring it you can sit back relax and chill um i will show you a sneaky peek because I've shown you these already so I'll show you these two elements which if you were to just buy this and this it would be 30 pounds but actually you have got a whole wealth of extra treats <laughs> um, for example um, in there, uh, I'm on thin ice um, but yes yeah, you get all of the extra treats in there as well I will go through that for you later on that's box option numero uno just let you know if you buy if you buy more than one of this, you get the same things in each one. So lovely for gifts. But if you're thinking, Bex, I love a bargain, but I don't want the same things, you want to get option two as well. So this should be costing you all of the elements inside it would cost you on a normal day here at Crafters TV. Great prices anyway. Normally it costs you £105, in fact more than that. Or if you're in the US, it'd normally cost you £134 nearly. But today you're getting all of it in here for less than the price of these two. Because these two are £32 each. Well, £32 together, sorry. Today though it's just £30. Can you believe £75 saving? Over $93 saving. I'd be happy if I found 93p. It's an Ian. I think it's incredible. And um, that, that's not even factoring in if you are, you know, a club discount, if you're a platinum member or a gold member. It's astonishing. So that is coming up for you later on. And as I say, there's loads more in here, but I'll show you more later. I'm just going to briefly recap for you the liftables because we've had plenty of you in talking about how you love the liftables. Candice is saying, I have the liftables and they are great dies. Uh, we've got Rhonda in saying that I love the idea of the card because there's so many different purposes for it. I agree with that. Because if you're looking at this, obviously we did the demonstration with the dragonfly. But actually, you know, the dragonfly for a Father's Day card, you could use it for a Mother's Day card, you could use it for a Happy New Home card, you could do it for loads. You don't just get the dragonflies, you're also getting in there the fairies. You have got also the flowers. And I really like the flowers because some of them are different elements. We are bringing to you in there as well the butterflies and as you can see it's the element of these of the 3d nature that makes them the liftable as it were we've got lots of different designs in here six different um themes if you will we're going to bring to you in total but there are so 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 many more that you can get your hands on these are just incredible aren't they they really are so if you do want to seize the moment on them now is most certainly your chance with that discount deal we've got some more inspiration over here with the fish i'm with you yeah i really you know what i'm so excited about these dyes and i know how much you love them so i want to give you as many uh, as much inspiration as possible we made this uh, TP card last week, which is just so beautiful. Uh, I think this is my new favourite at the moment. I do love a TP card. It's just beautiful. But what about this? I mean, how stunning is this card? Matte and layering, snipping out those stars, creating different layers. Matte and layering, the smaller stars inside the larger stars. So many different things. I love this concept here. Uh, so uh, Laura uh, Hutchins from our design team. How cool is that making ah, those little elements it. inside and then those hearts on the outside this for me is so stylish this is great I know that my partner loves his pens to be able to make a box like this and put a beautiful pen inside that would make love his it. absolute day let's put it the right way I love that that you could put any design I mean he probably wouldn't like the flowers so much but he might like the stars or the dragonflies but what about this one I mean how cool is this so doing that tri-folded card all that I mean 
and that is so stylish, so Lovely. beautiful, but so simple to do because of those gorgeous wings that just cut in, lift up, looking exquisite. I like the fact that they've got that movability in them. They've got that Definitely. fun factor. Yeah. They've got these gorgeous liftable elements. The actual um, fairies is so stunning. I mean, she is just a showstopper, isn't she? She really that is. That really big fairy, doubling the wings up underneath. I love that idea, glittering them using your glitter markers Brilliant. and then having a box like this Becky I mean our Craig yeah. did this this morning I think yeah. and just having all these liftable elements but look round the sides of the boxes I just think you could never buy something like that so I think being able to make something like that being able to use all these hearts in the way you've used them here these would be great as little mini picture frames Love it. so you could put your pictures in there honestly these liftables are so so beautiful so do you feel free to seize the moment on them we've had the winner through for the demo of the show and the winner is brrr, the craft along dragonfly oh that's brilliant i'm so pleased i do love that card it it's beautiful. just so simple but looks absolutely gorgeous how can you imagine how many of your different papers you can put in there and how gorgeous it will look it's fab thank you so much for sending in your pictures purely due to time we're not going to be able to show them now but if we can we will be showing some in cartload debbie the fish as always an absolute pleasure thank you so much for today oh, thank you bell <coughs> and thank you out there it's been a pleasure uh, and i've just absolutely loved doing this craft along do not forget we are going to be back with you crafters tv for the cartload and that is with sarah get ready pick your tipple of choice and get prepared for some bargains we will be with you here at 7 p.m later